And all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable. I think we ought to underline this in our hearts, that the rate of growth in a Christian's life has very little to do with how much they know. It has a great deal to do with how willing they are to obey what they know. And I've met Christians and they have a tremendous head knowledge, but their lives are in shambles. And I've seen other Christians and quite frankly, they couldn't tell me many things in the word of God, but what they do know, they live. And the rate of growth in a Christian's life is directly related to how long it takes them to obey what God has revealed to them. God reveals his truth to us, and if I stand and discuss it and debate it and stand back and wait and dilly-dally, that's wasted time in my life. If I say, well, if that's what God wants, then by his grace I'll do it, and I step into the truth, I step into the light, God says, well, you're ready for the next lesson. And so progress in the Christian life comes not simply by knowing the truth, but by living the truth. God doesn't want us to be know-it-alls. He wants us to be do-it-alls and to take the truth and by his grace live it out. Now, we need the same Spirit of God to show us the truth as we do to live the truth. Sometimes I turn to the Word of God and he reveals a truth to me and I say, well, thank you, I'll go and do it now. And I fall flat on my face like someone has tied my spiritual shoelaces together and I wonder what's happened. And so having revealed his truth to me, I have to get down before him and say, now, Lord, here's what you want, but I can't do that. But you can do it through me. And so I make myself available to you to make this truth real in my life. The scripture says, buy the truth and sell it not. And I'm afraid that sometimes we're window shoppers, like these people who I think they're called mollies. You know, they walk through the mall. And they buy an ice cream cone or something, that's about it. And they like to look, and they like to admire, and they say, that would be nice. They're just not willing to pay the price. Now, that's really the issue, isn't it? When we begin to study the Word of God, say, well, that's a wonderful truth, (laughs) but it's not mine. Until by His grace, I'm willing to pay the price. And what is the price? Well, the price is different for every truth. But there will always be a price tag associated with it, And when by his grace I'm willing to pay that price, and that truth, which at first seems to be just a bit of theory, a bit of doctrine, as we say, as that truth is made real in my life, I discover that that truth is just another aspect of the loveliness of Christ. And when you see people and they attract you and you say, you remind me of someone, oh, I know who it is. You're like the Lord Jesus. You know why that is? It's because they've not only spent time studying the Word of God, but they have submitted themselves to the Word of God to be obedient to what it says.